smoked buffalo chicken dip tacos. If you guys want to see how we make these for the big game coming up, here we go. All right, with the big game upon us, this is the deal. Many of you might know that there's a certain celebrity music star that's infiltrated our football world, but there's a caveat. There's a, a change in the, in the guard, as they say. Being a hashtag girl dad, it has been a blessing. Never in my wildest dreams would I imagine sitting in my house on my recliner or the couch and the girls telling me what down it is, what's about to happen. It's been extremely nice for me. Um, with that being said, their big game excitement is through the roof, along with the things that they want to eat. So I thought if they're that excited, I wonder if we're all that excited. So we have done many, many, many things in the past, whether it be like buffalo chicken style or appetizer style or whatever. So I'm going to pick out maybe about three or four of our favorite appetizers that we've done that you guys can do for the big game. And that'll be listed in the description below. Uh, I know for a fact we've done like buffalo chicken a thousand different ways from the smoke dip to like a pinwheel. Um, one of our really good ones was a cheese steak taquito. And we've also done a jalapeno popper mini taco. So this is what we're doing today. Whole chicken. You can buy the rotisserie chicken. You can use chicken bread. However you want to get to your chicken phase, get your chicken phase. I just think it incorporates a ton of flavor. And if we're going to do it right, let's do it right. Especially for my girls. So they get to have these. And I know they like it. Here we have a whole chicken. I've split the backbone and I put it on a cooling rack and put it in the refrigerator overnight. No salt brine, no nothing. You amaze how much moisture excretes or escapes from a, a piece of meat like this. I've already drained that. So we got a little duck fat. Hit this lightly. This one acts as a binder as well. We have our Lone Star Pellet Grill. It's hovering about 325 today. Got our Texas rub. Do a light coating of it. Making sure you get all the nooks and crannies. And then hit it with shake that salt, pepper, garlic, and butter. This is where their flavor really pops. Go heavier on that side. All righty. We got our grill about 325. We can take it off, put it right there in the middle. Maybe the breast facing the, uh, or the thighs facing my fire pot. And we're gonna smoke this until it's done. Uh, we're gonna look about 160 degrees in the breast, maybe about 170 in the thighs. And then we're gonna tint it and then we're gonna pull it, let it rest and all that stuff. All right, as you can see, our chicken is done. Uh, it took about an hour and 45 minutes. So quickly, I'm just going to uh, wrap it a little foil, let it rest, let all those juices calm down in it. I've turned down the smoker from 325 to uh, 250. So it's on the way down. We got some cream cheese. Hit that with some shake that, just kind of mirroring those flavors. And we're gonna smoke this for about an hour. And that'll give us plenty of time for our chicken to cool. All right, our chicken's rested. The, um, I'm gonna leave that cream cheese on there a little bit longer just to get a little bit more uh, flavor. Remember, you don't have to smoke your chicken. Obviously, rotisserie chicken, you can just soften your cream cheese if you wanted to. Many ways to do this, but I just can't not do it and incorporate that flavor. Not to worry with the detail, you can see how juicy it is. Save some of that skin for me. And then the good chicken, whoo, goes right into the bowl. Alrighty, so I've separated the skin. I think I'm gonna put that on the griddle, crisp it up, and add that to the chicken. I just think it incorporates a ton of flavor. Remember, there's a lot of smoke flavor there as well. So that's gonna help out. Um, I just basically pre-shredded it. I didn't really wanna like tear the chicken up that much because we're gonna use our hand mixer. Um, and the reason is, when you do a taco like this, and I think about people like gathering around or watching a game or any event at all, and you're making these, you know, you don't want to bite into it like half the filling falls out. So if you can get this to like a fine shred, I think the ingredients will incorporate better together and I think it's gonna be a better chew, a better experience. So that's what we're doing. 
Just trying to look at it, break it up a little bit more than what it is. It doesn't take long, but you can see the difference in the results. That's what I'm looking for. That's got all the seasons on there. We always talk about how much fat is flavored. That's going to crisp up nicely. Help change the texture just a little bit, but more importantly, it's all about flavor. All about flavor. You can see our cream cheese nicely smoked. Just adds that more flavor. Right in there it goes. Texas Pete hot sauce. It's got a vinegar taste to it. And I like it. This is this is what I'm looking for today. Some hot sauces are different. Pick out your favorite. Wing sauce, not hot sauce. What I'll say. Hot sauce. Why'd you get a third cup? I just got measuring. Cups. Any cup you wanted to get? Well, we'll start with a third cup. See what happens. And then we will do a third cup of ranch. Give that a mix. We'll taste it. See if it needs anything. Good thing about smoking that cream cheese. It really makes it pliable. Easy to mix in. I like the consistency. All right, our mix is done. Here's our cooled down chicken skins. right to the mix it goes. So what you haven't seen is behind the cameras while we took a quick pause is a long, long, long talk and negotiation about what happens next. We've made three tacos and off camera. And the reason is because I'm not happy with the mix. Now, I personally believe that it could use less cream cheese. My goal was, I looked at the recipes that we have where they're smoked cream cheese or smoked buffalo and i think i just added too much cream cheese as a result it was bland when i tasted it then i was forced to add more buffalo sauce okay so this is the mix that we came up with i'm fine with the texture and i'm happy with the flavor now but it just doesn't work as well as what i thought it would so i've made some off camera and i've got a fantastic idea that i came up with that's going to help regardless of what ratio you use it's my recommendation that um, you're gonna add less cream cheese, which will allow you to add less buffalo sauce. We can add more buffalo sauce later and I'm gonna do that. So what we're gonna do is finish the video like I intended. I am going to immediately after this video is done, make this recipe again off camera. And then in our recipe, we will have what I think is the better version of what I'm making. I'm just being completely honest. You guys know for a fact that I don't hide away anytime I mess up or anytime I do good, that's just life of cooking, right? So I guess, and I guess wrong, but saying I guess wrong is like a seven and a half out of 10. I mean, you liked it. It's still good. I yeah. mean, we still ate all three tacos. <laughs> <laughs> but for you guys, I want it to be perfect for game day or for a birthday or for a holiday. So let me do my research. Let me make it again. And once you guys actually see the recipe, it'll be spot on, I guarantee you. So let me show you what we got. The griddle's on. Um, we're going to throw some uh, avocado oil down. You can use a ghee, a tallow. All my tallow is smoked, so I didn't really want to throw that down. I stay away from butter at this point because your griddle should be pretty hot. You're going to be frying these tortillas. So we're going to start with basically with four of them. And let me show you. Mozzarella cheese. So a little bit goes a long ways. The way it is now would be perfect if you just smoked it. Like you wouldn't have to change a thing. I just think the textural, is that a word textural? Mm -hmm. The texture could be different. And the power of the flavor. So you could uh, put this mix exactly the way it is. It's like jalapenos and do like a buffalo uh, smoked buffalo stuffed jalapenos, stuff like that. So the mix isn't bad. It's just for this specific recipe, I think it could be different.
Just add a little bit more oil down. That's kind of like your shallow fry. Get those mixed up. See that right there? That's what we're looking for. Crispy. See that? Okay. All right, so what we have here is buffalo sauce. And now we're just gonna paint the taco. Let that kind of absorb into the tortilla, kind of like birria style sauce. Paint these as well. Put them on a cooling rack so those tortillas still stay crunchy. All right, guys, when you're done, it should look something like that. A uh, little tit for tat. Uh, the longer they set up, actually, they get a little bit more crunchier, so don't worry about that. Um, you guys have uh, really supported us along the way. And for the people that who do want to know, we're immediately filming another video for Pellets and Pits, our other YouTube channel. And I think I've come out with a fantastic smoked buffalo wing. Um, very similar to what I've done in the past, but it's kind of like my twist on it. And I think I'm going to change it in the way that uh, no, I haven't seen anybody else do before. And I've had fantastic results with it. So it's how to get a crispy chicken wing without using the baking soda or baking powder. It's all about heat. If you guys are interested, you can check that video out. All right, here we go. Like I said, once you guys get this recipe, and I promise you, it will be spot on. But, I mean, it came out fantastic the way it is. Yeah, I mean, it's fantastic the Blue way it is. Blue cheese, ranch, dr oh yeah. We just want things to be 100% perfect for you guys. Because we know you yeah. make our recipes exactly. Yeah, I won't sugarcoat it. You guys know when I mess up. Um... Blue cheese, ranch dressing, we're not getting out of that argument. Heck, if you wanted to, you could still dunk it in like some buffalo sauce. You could sprinkle buffalo sauce over it if you wanted it spicier. Mmm, they're good. I mean, they're a solid seven and a half to eight. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what. Maybe nine. <laughs> Maybe I'm overthinking it. That's all I get is a hmm. <laughs> it is good. I mean, mm. as they sit, I think the mixture gets a little bit thicker because mm -hmm. it's not as hot mm -hmm. so it kind of is perfect for the big game party because you're not really going to be serving everything fresh off the griddle it's probably going to be sitting like on a buffet table or something i mean <laughs> we'll we'll <here>. still <laughs> we've eaten five tacos <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> i told you i couldn't stand the fact that it wasn't a 10 out of a 10 I stand on my morals and this is what we're doing. So, same exact idea. I did not take the hand mixer to this. This is pulled by hand. We reduced the cream cheese from a full block to a half a block and we also adjusted the hot sauce and the ranch. That, uh, what we've done here will be on our website, the, the recipe. I'll show you the difference. Textural wise, I think it's better too because you get more of a a tooth feel, more of a like a taco with chicken feel with buffalo added to it versus like a dip feel, okay? That's key. So let me show you really quick and one difference that we did inside. So everybody knows if you've been following me for a while that my kids and wife do not like heat at all. My kids are extremely picky. They actually had a bite because we were testing it inside. Uh, same method, uh, oil down the griddle, start the tacos. They took a bite from their mother and they both were like, oh my gosh, this is good. And then they're fighting over the taco and for a parent, for them to like that, I was like, heck yeah. So that was pretty neat. I would not have bet a dollar on that. Cheese goes down. You guys can see kind of like the texture here. It's not as grainy. So pulling it by hand versus mixing it. Yep. And being careful not to um, overstuff these is key too. Now that did not change. All right, I'm out of the original hot sauce that we started with, the wing sauce, but I still have Texas Speed hot sauce. 
The original time I did it like a birria style where we brushed the outside of the taco, but I actually did a little, little this. And this worked out just as good. It kept the exterior a little bit more crunchy. Look, tell the, hey, tell the camera, we won't show my daughter on camera anymore. Tell the camera exactly what you said about these. I want them for dinner. See, I told you as a parent, I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. You don't even like stuff like this. They're good. You know, it's like a, a golfer or a baseballer or a field goal kicker. You just never want to end on a bad note. And I felt like we could just do better. And that's my promise to you guys since day one. If I can do better, I'm always going to try to do better. And I'm not going to take the bad stuff out. Like I said, it was not a, a bad one. I just felt like we could do better. And this is a lot better. Oh, it's not. I mean, it's two points better, you know. <laughs> this is something that I would not have changed. If we'd have made this first, I would not have went back. But there you go. Now, that's some buffalo chicken tacos for the game day. It stays crispy. It'd be absolutely fantastic. I'm telling you, these are a home run. All right, guys, there you go. There's really not else much I can say. Like, I'm kind of, like, torn. They're good. Now I really like it. Earlier, I was so sweating that I really messed up, but whatever. Either way you guys go, as long as you follow the simple steps, the idea behind it, make your own, make it your way. But do me a favor, check out The Girdle Group on Facebook because that's where we get tons of inspiration from you guys. And when you guys create something, it's a way that we can see it. Post the pictures, tag us, um, you know, see where you got it or do something. I don't care what it is. Um, but we just love seeing what you guys are making, how you came up with it and all that stuff. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. Okay, let's have another one. <laughs>